Hi guys, this is Kevin here from the Geek Review channel and in this video we are going to learn how to install Zen Motion. that is when you double tap on your screen the screen sleeps and if you double tap on your screen again the screen wakes up so let's go ahead and learn how to do this and I'm using an Asus Zenfone 5 for this tutorial so first I would like to show you that I'm on the latest lollipop operating system that is 2.24.40.87 now these are the steps that you need to follow first you need to install Intel Android DRV setup so the link to download this setup is in the description under step 1 and once you have done that step 2 would be to download and install minimal ADB and fastboot so the link for this is provided to you under step 2 once you have done that the third thing would be to root your phone so under step 3 I have provided you a link on how to root your Asus and phone so kindly follow that video this is how the video looks so in the description of the video you will find the root kit so kindly download and install it and follow the video and root your phone the fourth step would be to unlock your bootloader so the link for the tutorial has been provided to you again under step 4 so all you need to do is go to that video download the kit and follow the video and unlock your bootloader and after unlocking the bootloader just in case if you feel any screen freeze or if you don't have your camera then kindly don't continue with this video just lock your bootloader again with the same tool and for people who are not facing any screen freeze or camera issue after unlocking their bootloader they can continue to step 5 that is to download the Zen Motion tool so once you download the zip file and once you unzip this is how the tool is going to look so download it so first what we need to do is we need to click on the Zen Motion folder and we need to click on permission and just copy these files and paste them to your phone's internal memory and once you have done that now we need to click on install Zen Motion and press enter and press grant on super issue So during this process Zen Motion is installed and a custom kernel is installed to support the Zen Motion. So during this process your phone will at least switch on and switch off for three times. So don't touch the USB cable, let the entire process get over.
after installing Zen Motion for the first time, your screen, your touch screen won't be responsive. So what we need to do is we can click anywhere on the desktop, press shift on your keyboard, right click on your mouse and open command window and all you need to do is and you need to type in a command adb reboot recovery and press enter and without having the touch you straight away see the recovery screen with no command so all you need to do is you need to press the power button and the upper volume key together so let's do that and release it immediately and now here you need to wipe catch partition It'll take two to three minutes so once the wipe catch partition is done you can manually reboot your device and your touch responsiveness will be back And after you wipe your cache partition, your touch screen will definitely respond. So now you can see that your touch screen is responsive. So you can just go to settings and scroll down and under device you will find an option Zen Motion. So all you need to do is just activate it and there you go. You will have tap to sleep and tap to wake up. And continuation to this video is a video on how to uninstall Zen Motion. 
so if you like this video guys give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel that's geek review do write down us in case you are facing any issue this is kevin signing off from geek review